Hey guys, William Morris here, and today I just wanted to take a look at the Ollie Watton drums, uh, which is the drum kit from the Spitfire Labs range. For those that you don't know, the Spitfire Labs range is basically a stripped down uh, mini sample library set. Uh, all the proceeds go to charity, and they try and focus on sort of small individual instruments that you might not normally come across. Uh, so here's the interface we have here. There's uh, three mic positions. We have a close mic, uh, an overhead, and a squished, which is kind of more of room sound, but heavily, heavily compressed. So we're gonna have a quick listen to each one of those. This is close. And these are the overheads. And finally the squished. Okay. I'm going to keep it on mixed for the moment, which is presumably a bit of a balance between the three. You can, of course, choose your own mix with the sliders and uh, turn the positions on and off as much as you want. The rest of the controls are very simple. So as typical with all the Spitfire stuff, we have control over the sample purge. You can do some transposition and we can set the map the velocities to CC1 instead. And you have some round robin control here as well. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a short playthrough and that'll be on the, the mix mic setting. Okay, so we have, uh, actually I've got two bass drums. This is number one. Number two. Couple of snares. Got some uh, like rim shot stuff. These are the toms. Uh, there's also a range of flam. Uh, shots as well. And these are your symbols. Oh yeah, there's some uh, choked symbol stuff as well. an idea of the uh, dynamic layers and the round robins just on the snare okay guys that wraps it up for me uh, if there's any other libraries that you'd like me to take a look at just let me know in the comments